Let's now take a long, deep cleansing breath together. And just let your body relax. Become aware of the feet and the calves and just send the message, relax and let go. Become aware of your thighs, relax. Let your hands be open and relaxed. Relaxing your forearms, your biceps, your shoulders. Move your awareness down your chest and your back, relaxing and letting go. Become aware of the muscles in your neck, the front, the back, the sides. Send the message, relax, relax. Relax the muscles in your face, your cheeks, your eyes, your nose, your ears, your forehead, your lips, your tongue. Relaxing your scalp from the top of your head to the bottoms of your feet. Letting go, letting go, letting go, letting go, letting go. We remember together that God is everywhere present. There's no time that we can ever be separate from that presence. Only in our thoughts, our beliefs. We may feel separate, but we're never really separate. Because we can't be, just like a wave is never separate from the ocean. Otherwise, it would cease to be a wave. It's an expression of that ocean. You and I are expressions of that ocean of spirit. Never separate. But there are times where we feel separate. When we're perhaps angry or afraid or anxious or any other kind of feeling like that. And we just need to remember, like the prodigal son, who remembered, I'll arise and return to the father. Well, that father, that mother presence, is located right within. It's expressing in and as you and in and as me. We just need to remember to be still and Turn within and reconnect with the source that's always there. Arise and return. And so that's what we do right now during this time. We let the body relax and let go of unnecessary tensions held in the body. And we let our mind become still and quiet. When the mind becomes quiet and calm, then who we really are as a spiritual being begins to reflect. We start to feel the peace, the joy, the love. That's always there. That's what we experience when our mind is pure, so to speak. Pure meaning calm. Quiet, still. Know within yourself that I am a spiritual being. I'm not my mind, I'm not my emotions, I'm not my body. I am spirit. In other words, I am this presence and activity of God that is spirit expressing as me. I am spirit. And so now we're going to help focus the mind and quiet the mind further by just simply observing the breathing as it flows in and out, just like you were observe waves rolling into the shore and going back out to the sea. Just watch your breathing flowing in, flowing out. And when your mind wanders, just bring it back to watching the breath. Let's do that for just a little bit. Just watch your breathing. Focus your attention.
And now as your breathing flows in, mentally think the words, I am. And as your breath flows out, the word spirit. I am on the inhalation, spirit on the exhalation. And again, when your mind wanders, which it will, bring it back to your breathing and back to the affirmation. I am spirit. Now take a nice, long, deep breath. Letting go of watching the breathing. And just be in the quiet, be in the stillness. Be with yourself, be with your higher self. And absorb, be receptive. Ask that presence to reveal itself to you. In the quiet now, in the stillness. I am spirit. I am a spiritual being. I am the inlet and can become the outlet of all that spirit is, all that God is. And let us bring our attention now to our friends and family. And we acknowledge that they are, they are spiritual beings. You are the inlet and may become the outlet for all there is in spirit in God. And just see them in whatever way that symbolizes the truth of what they are. See them as beings of light. See whatever images imply the truth of who they really are. And let us know and trust that right now, they're receptive. They're vehicles through which God is expressing fully and completely. No barriers, no limitations. And let us know the same for everybody whose name has been submitted to the Unity Center of New York City for prayer. We just hold each one and we may not know their name or know them personally, but we just know and trust that each one is receiving that which is needed. Each one is a vehicle through which spirit expresses. And we expand our consciousness, our awareness to include the planet Earth, all of nature, all the animals, the environment, and every person every person, God being made flesh, every person is a spiritual being manifesting in and through and as them. We acknowledge that truth about every person on the planet. This is our, this is our prayer. Emerson said prayer is the contemplation of the facts of life 
from the highest point of view. This is the highest point of view we can hold for, for everyone. God living itself as them. No matter what race, what sex, what religion, what belief system, doesn't really matter. Doesn't change what each person is. And so now let us bring our awareness back to the room where we are praying and meditating. Begin moving toes and fingers and the body, bringing yourself back into the present moment, aware of your surroundings. And we conclude this prayer time together, grateful for a greater awareness of what we are as a spiritual being. We let this consciousness unfold through us and in our body and our day, touching others, and we give thanks for the activity of God working in our friends and family and in every person on the planet. And so it is, and so it will always be. Amen. Thank you for meditating with me. Remember to subscribe to my channel for more meditations as they go live. Click above for a list of previous meditations so that you can meditate with me on your own time, anytime.